and let's study the word. So the point of no return. The Bible verse is from James chapter 5 verse 6 or chapter 3 verse 6. The tongue who is a fire, a word of evil among the parts of the body, corrupts uh, the whole body. So, ano ba yung the point of no return? So sabi niya, by law, no Roman general could lead armed forces into Rome. But si Julius Caesar ginawa niya to, so it was an act of treason. Or parang they crossed the river Rubicon. So kaya pala meron crossing the Rubicon or the passing the point of no return. So sometimes in our life na nangyari yun, parang hindi natin sinadya, pero it came to that point na hindi na tayo makabalik, we did it already. So, so parang we have to be careful especially with our words. Eh, pag nasabi natin, hindi na natin matake back kung nakasakit na tayo, kung nakapraise na tayo, it's already there. Kaya nga sabi niya, the tongue is a fire, a word of evil among the parts of the body. Kasi very powerful minsan yung words natin, especially kung nakasakit na tayo, it, uh, parang tumatalino sa loob ng tao. So parang whenever we have cross a rubicon with someone, we can seek their forgiveness and God. So yun, parang so di, di na tayo perfect sometimes we sin, sometimes we commit a mistake, but as long as we ask forgiveness to God, He will forgive us. So parang He is an ever a loving God, di ba? Kaya nga He died on the cross to save us from our sins. Eh. So let your conversation be always full of grace that our words will only honor our Lord but lift up and encourage those around us. So, yung words nga natin are powerful. So, we have to be careful on what are the words or things that we're saying to our children, to our spouses, to our co-workers. Kasi pag nasabi natin, most of the time, we cannot take it back. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.